Hey, it's Brad here with Christina Perry, right before Click 989's Acoustic Lounge, which you can watch that video as well at click989.com. How are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good, but I need you to tell me about this dog you're raving about. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to walk in any second. Okay, there's this dog. They, uh, his name is Barkley Sir Charles, okay. and he's a French bulldog. And I found him on Instagram about, um, I want to say two years ago. And... Uh, just like, you know, randomly following this dog, I don't know, but whatever, it's so cute. And I have a French Bulldog, and I love French Bulldogs. And so um, we just comment on each other's photos and became friends that way. And then the Instagram direct thing happened. Oh, and I was yeah, like, dude, right. I have to meet you and your dog. I'm coming to Seattle uh, for my show. And then I forgot I was coming up here for a promo. So literally an hour ago, I was like, do you want to come to a lounge? <laughs> and then uh, they said, yeah. So they're about to walk in. I'm literally like shaking. I'm so excited. You're excited about the French Bulldog. Yeah. See, I have, I have relationships with dogs all over now. Like there's one in Brazil and Japan and all over. I have to visit. Let's talk about the album. Well, okay. You and I talked on the phone, I think it was a couple months ago or something like that. Yeah. And one of the cool things you had mentioned was that you got to make the album you wanted to make this time. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about kind of, because this is Seattle, right? This is a music city. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about a little bit of the process. You didn't take a break per se, but you, you weren't putting out new music for a while there. Right. So let's talk about the process from when you like went into the studio again and, and how you kind of, because it's rare for an artist to get to make the album they want. Right. Well, I mean, it took a lot of, um, well, it was a lot of trust and support on my label side. I mean, I remember when I um, kind of started writing, I, nobody was asking. There was no deadlines. There were no dates. Uh, so I had the freedom to take my time. And that really, I, I credit to them. Uh, but for me, I, I just like, I, there was just no way I was going to do it if I wasn't like fully inspired. And, um, and then that whole scary second album thing, uh, you know, started tripping me out, and I was like, well, what if I just tell the truth? Then maybe, you know, that that won't uh, scare me if I'm just telling everybody what's really happening. And so then I got excited, and I got inspired, and I came up with the idea about Head or Heart, and then I felt like I had something to say, then I had, like, a theme, and then... So it all kind of happened in an in, in order, basically. Yeah. And then I spent um, six months writing. I didn't stop until I was certain I had the whole album. I had 49 songs. And then I... 49? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had 49 songs to pick from. And the 13 I picked were really obvious to me. Um, there were a couple fights with the label on, on some of them. And I said, hey, if I'm not going to play it live, I'm not putting it on the album. And cool. as much as, like, you know, I love a good ballad, I just don't want five, you know, on the album. Like, I knew I, w the type of... Now I know I'm a live artist, so everything that I used to make this album was learned by doing it one way, my first album, and then now this way, and uh, I'm really proud of myself for, for that. How did Human become the first track to get released? Human almost didn't even make the album. I thought it was the most personal song I had, and I was going through such a hard time when I wrote it that, that I thought it was just one of those songs, because I write constantly. I have hundreds and hundreds yeah. of songs that I don't show people ever. And, um, and so I thought that was one of those, like a little, like a diary song, you know, like yeah. this song I'm writing today just so I feel better. And, um, but what happened was I, we demoed it up and it started to sound really, really good. And then I showed some people and they reacted to it. And then I was like, oh, you know, this, this is, this might be not only make the album, but might be the first thing I want to say. And it was. What's funny, cause I'm going to call him out for a second. My boss runs around the station belting human. Oh, good. He, uh, that's good for you, because you, know, <laughs> you know how radio is. He's well, like, oh, I love this song. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, and so he's, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll meet him at it's some It's a really today. common phrase, which is funny, because I didn't realize how common it was until I wrote this song, because now I quote myself, which is so, <laughs> like, uncool. You know, but I'm like, I'm only, mm, I'm just a person. <laughs> you know, like, I <laughs> had to stop funny. myself all the time from saying it. Um, moving forward, uh, the album comes out April 1st. Yes. And you're back in Seattle <laughs> in March? May? May? May, it's like 24th or something like that. May 24th matter. at the Neptune? Oh, sweet. Is That's that a good here? Spot. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many Is it days. cool? I'm excited. Yeah. It's cool. yeah. Um, and so you toured a long time on the last album. Mm -hmm. How many tours? Nine in a row, but for 27 months straight. That's insane. You plan on doing that again? Yeah. You love being <laughs> live? Well, I mean, yeah, I'd feel like it'd be a blessing if I got to do it again. You know, like I don't know, even longer, or, or I don't know if it'd be shorter, but it's just such a dream job that, like, to get to do that for two years is not scary. It's really cool. I like to hear that because my rule is like I could love their music, any artist's music, but until I see them live, mm -hmm. I won't say that I'm their fan. 
That's like, cool. I actually, Lady Gaga was such a, a thing, like, you know, oh, Lady Gaga is great. I was like, not making a decision Dude, she's so good live. And then I saw her live, I was like, all right, for life. I'm your fan for, for life. life. For <laughs> life. I'm yeah. obsessed with her. Yeah. Well, uh, we're excited to see you perform today. And uh, you. you guys can see that performance as well at click989.com and my other interview with Christina. But right now, we're going to let her relax for a second. So. All right. Thanks. Bye.